Hello, today I'd like to show you how to pin baste a quilt ready for quilting. Um, I'm going to be quilting it by machine on my domestic sewing machine so I need to baste it together and I tend to use safety pins because I can take them out as I get to them. So what I've done here is I've made my quilt top and I've cut myself a backing piece of fabric. Now because my quilt top is small I haven't had to join it or anything and then I've just masking taped it to my table um, which is very convenient and then I've cut my batting. Now usually you have the batting and the backing just a touch bigger than I've got it um, but I just wanted to use this particular backing on this quilt. Normally you want to allow yourself a couple of inches all the way around and I'm pretty tight on this one but I think it's still going to work okay. So, so what I do is I masking tape the backing down nice and smooth, no wrinkles in it. You don't want it stretched out of shape but just nice and firmly smooth so that there's no wrinkles or anything on there because you want it to be nice and flat. Then with my batting I've just laid that piece down gently. Again you don't want to be stretching it or anything because batting has a little mind of its own and it likes to be where it wants to be so you've just got to let it sit and be itself. And then my quilt top I've laid on top. Now it's a good time now to make sure that everything is looking nice and straight with your quilt top. I don't tape this down I just pin it I just smooth it out so that it's sitting nice and flat but where I've got straight lines, like particularly this yellow border, I like to stand back and make sure that it's sitting straight and my general sort of seam lines and things in my quilt, I like to try and make them as straight as possible at this stage because anything that's a little bit out just seems to exaggerate when it gets quilted. So the straighter you can get it before you start, the happier you're going to be with your quilt. So I'm all ready to go. I've basted, oh, sorry, I've stuck down with some just regular masking tape, nothing fancy about masking tape, to my tabletop. I've laid my batting out, I've laid my top out, and I've got it lined up nice and straight. So now comes the safety pins. Now there's a variety of safety pins. Ideally, they'd be stainless steel ones that won't rust, because sometimes things stay in a quarter bit longer than you think they're going to. And, and I'm just going to start. Uh, pinning. Now it doesn't really matter where you pin because you may have a particular quilting design in mind. I'm going to be quilting this one all over with an all over meander most likely so it doesn't really matter where my pins are for me. But you shouldn't pin too far apart. Probably about every four inches or roughly the distance of your fist is about four inches across there. So your pins shouldn't be any more than four inches apart in any direction. So if I just start pinning in a square here and a square here. Maybe just my centers to start with. It doesn't, as I said, it doesn't really matter. There's no particular rhyme or reason. I'm going to have to move around the table at some stage. And then if I go in between here, you can see that these are roughly four inches apart at those points. So that should be uh, enough for this quilt. I'm on a synthetic batting. That sometimes can mean you might want to put some extra pins in. Um, because it's a little bit more spongy and therefore a little bit more slippery. If you're working with the cotton batting, uh, that will cling to the fabric much better. So I won't go into all the properties of battings at the moment, but there are different properties on different battings. But this is going to be a children's quilt, so I've gone for a nice soft synthetic batting, which is easy care. So again, I'm just going to pin in between there because that's that has got more than four inches there, so we want to keep that pretty much in trim if we can. So I'm just going to go all over my quilt um, doing that and when I come to the borders the same thing I'm going to just pin nicely in the borders keeping them straight just keep an eye on your lines that they're staying straight as you're pinning them and around the outside edge pop some pins fairly close to the edge just to keep everything lined up for when you're quilting it. So just all over approximately four inches apart. So I've been busy pinning my quilt and I've finished pin basting it and uh, I feel that there's probably enough pins in there and so I can take it off my table now. Just take this masking tape off and if you're doing several quilts it's always a good idea to get together with a friend to do this sort of thing. It goes much quicker when you've got some helpers and it's fun. Quilting together is always a good idea it's a very social sort of hobby quilting. So that's all my masking tape off. So my quilt is now all ready to, for me to consider um, doing my quilting. 
So I will be thinking about what I'm going to quilt on it. And that was really just a quick um, introduction on how to pin baste your quilt ready for machine quilting, which you're going to do on a domestic machine, because if you're taking it to a long arm quilter, you don't need to do all that because they do all the basting for you. So that was for home quilting, which I do all my quilts at home on my domestic machine. So that was the pin basting. Thank you.